And so what we've uh, done here at North Carolina State, we've actually gone back and looked at some of the colostrum data we did a few years back and put in some more numbers. Our initial study, we tried to look at nutritional regimens to try to increase colostrum production, and we did not seem to have success there. But we did find what I think is a lot of interesting information that can be beneficial on the genetics side. So as litter size increases, colostrum intake per pig is reduced. And not only does colostrum intake per pig go down, but the variation in colostrum intake increases, meaning we have fewer piglets that reach a certain threshold needed to survive and thrive until weaning. And to help counter that, as I said, geneticists have increased functional teat number, which our data shows that an additional functional teat increases colostrum uh, sow output or colostrum availability to the piglets 